All right, I'm back from the 49ers practice field. Have an update for you, starting with Brock Purdy, who was out there on the field. He was throwing, but he was throwing much less than a usual practice during warm-ups today. It was mainly Sam Darnold and Brandon Allen with Brock Purdy doing some standing around. So we'll keep our eye out on that. Might be just a pitch count situation for Brock Purdy. Have other 49ers injury news here. Back at practice today, Elijah Mitchell from the adductor injury and George Odom in a blue non-contact jersey. He's trying to make it back in time for the season opener. And obviously being back at practice is a step in the right direction for George Odom. A lot of 49ers players missed practice today, starting with Danny Gray, shoulder injury. That's obviously been expected. 49ers don't anticipate that he's going to be back until the regular season. Same with Ray Ray McLeod out with a wrist injury. Chris Conley sprained his shoulder in the game on Friday night. He was out. He's day-to-day, uh, -day, though, so maybe his 53-man roster slash practice status, which will be determined uh, starting tomorrow, later this week, won't be affected by that injury. Dre Greenlaw still out with the hamstring injury. That's going to be something to monitor between now and the season opener. Oren Burks, the knee injury since uh, suffered in Vegas when he ran into Devontae Adams. Uh, that is still holding him out of practice. He's not expected to be back until week one. Talano Hufanga, the Baker's cyst in his knee. Kyle Shanahan on his conference call the other day said that he expects that to be a day-to-day -day issue. Obviously, there's been some concern about uh, larger potential damage, meniscus damage from some online doctors, but the 49ers have not expressed major concern about the Hufanga injury yet. We'll keep our eyes out for any potential updates on that front, but he did miss practice. Taylor Hawkins expected to be out with the broken hand. He was out of practice. So is Cam Latu, who might need knee surgery. According to Shanahan, that might be one of the 49ers roster maneuvers, though. If Latu is not expected to be out the whole year, uh, they could always carry him on the roster and then put him on injured reserve. We'll see what the 49ers plans are uh, at the cut down tomorrow. That's going to be a big moment in time here as far as sifting through some of these injuries and the 49ers plans and the severity of all of them. A.J. Parker, uh, the defensive back, was out with a hamstring injury. Jordan Mason with his foot sprain, also missed practice. Then the two kickers, Zane Gonzalez and Jake Moody, both with muscle strains. Gonzalez is a calf. Moody is a quad strain. They're both out. The 49ers, according to Matt Mayoko, worked out two kickers, Tristan Vizcaena, who actually kicked for them in 2020, filling in for Robbie Gold, went three for three. I believe it was the game against Arizona uh, at the end of that season. And Taylor Russolino. He's been with the Broncos for a cup of coffee, but mainly an XFL kicker. My prediction remains the 49ers sign one of those guys to the practice squad, reserve the right to activate him for week one in case Moody and or Gonzalez aren't ready to go. But we'll learn more of their plans based on what they do with one of those two kickers and based on the roster cut down, which is happening tomorrow. The 49ers, though, they might have missed the boat on being able to recoup a draft pick uh, for Zane Gonzalez because of that injury in warmups on Friday. Finally, George Kittle wasn't out there today. We'll find out his status here as the week progresses. So those are the injuries. Cut down is tomorrow. More content coming very soon. Uh, that cut down should help us decipher a lot of things about the 49ers and their current injury situation.